What's up, how you doing? Uh, cooking lamb tonight. My kids requested that. I do not like it. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the way it tastes. I don't even like the way it looks. So, but they like it, so I'm gonna make it for them. Anytime you have meat and you have to add things to it to make it taste good, that's not meat that I wanna have. You take steer, bull, you add a little bit of salt and pepper, and it's perfect. This thing here, <laughs> but they like it, so I'm gonna make it. Got the Victory Knox knife here. So, got a couple of these. This knife is sharp like a razor blade. Get cut with that, you'll get stitches. Gotta get it just right, there's like an opening in there. Not a fan of that smell. If I were a caveman, and I were hungry, and I came across a lamb, I would let it go. I'd say go. But if I came across like a, a bull or a steer or something, you know, something from that family, the bovine family, I would hunt it down. I would throw away the testicles though, I would not, I would not have those since I have all the rest of the animal, I don't need to experiment with the testicles, unnecessary. Hear that. Razor blade. Come here, Isabella. So Isabella's gonna chop up the uh, the potatoes and turn them into french fries. Yay. Right now? Hold on. like lamb? Yes. It's really good. Jasper's trying to break out. Is that bone marrow? Is yes. that bone marrow? Bone no, marrow. Bone marrow. <gasps> Alright, one second. Be right back. Okay. Get the lamb chopped up there. I will add salt, pepper, and uh, garlic and anything else to disguise it a little bit but this is New Zealand lamb New Zealand so it's not doesn't have as much of the subway flavor that urine subway flavor uh, as the regular lamb I smell lamb it reminds me of going into a subway where the homeless people urinate can I cut potato yeah hold on hold on all right, so we're gonna put a little salt and pepper.
get some oregano too. I'll be back. Oregano. All right, so Isabella's using the uh, French fry machine to make some French fries. Yeah. All right, so now we do the pork tenderloin and uh, Got some olive oil here. Today we're using Bragg organic olive oil. It's uh, first cold press, unrefined, and the olives come, the oil, the olives, everything comes from Greece. So, good stuff. I have, I've had this before, it's very tasty. And here's the pork. I got a few of these. So we're gonna cut it up. Very tender, hence the name tenderloin. It's starting to get dark out. That's a, that's a good size tenderloin. Been watching these videos on YouTube about wild feral pigs running all over Texas, running all around Texas. And uh, they destroy property. I mean, they're, they're um, very aggressive animals. So they show people on helicopters hunting them down and uh, these wild boar, wild pigs, they're like all over the place and they're extremely intelligent so if you set up a trap and they figure it out, they won't come back to that spot again. Also they, they have the ability to break out. Never knew there was a problem with wild boar.
All right, I'm gonna add some olive oil and some uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of oregano, and then we're gonna skewer them up. Mm. All right, so we're gonna add some olive oil, salt, pepper, spice, spice it up. So like I said, Bragg olive oil, good stuff. Highly recommend it. I've had it before, it tastes really good. Rich, look at that. It's got a green color to it, which I like. Yes. Can I pour it in when it's okay. done? That smells like olive oil again. Yeah? That smells like olive oil again. Yes. That smells like oregano. That smells like garlic. I don't want to mix it yet. Okay, pour it in, all over. Okay. All right, so I washed my hands to get rid of that lamb thing on my hands and I'm gonna mix it up now. So there it is right there. Smells good. Skewering time. We'll use bamboo, bamboo skewers this time. Other times I have stainless steel ones.
right, it took a little bit of time, but we're finally done. Time to eat. And it's kind of warm out. Okay, that's it. Good night.